Hi, everybody. Time now for Better Money. And today we're talking about there's a lot of stuff you can do to cover that financial insecurity, especially right now because of the, the pandemic. But you might be wondering, what do I do if I have an old life insurance policy? And I'm joined now by Joel Johnson. He is a managing partner at Johnson Brunetti to kind of guide us through of what we should be doing if you maybe have this old life insurance policy. Yeah, a lot of people get to retirement or they get close to retirement. They say, hey, the reasons I bought the life insurance don't exist anymore. You know, my kids are grown up. Yep. Mortgage might be paid off or real close to paid off. They've got enough money saved in their 401k for retirement. So what should I do with this life insurance? All right, so number one, you need to think about what was the reason you bought the insurance? Yeah, so usually those reasons change, right? When Wendy and I bought our first life insurance policies, I remember exactly the kitchen table we were sitting at. We were thinking about having our children. We had a mortgage, and I wanted to make sure if something happened to me or Wendy, there was enough money to pay off the mortgage and educate our kids. That's why we bought the life insurance. Well, that situation hasn't been there for quite a while. Okay, right, because your yeah. kids are grown now. Right. All right, so, and then you have to ask, was it bought as an investment or savings vehicle with a death benefit? And that's really because sometimes you buy term and it covers you until your kids are older, or you might have some cash value in this policy? That's correct, and sometimes policies are actually bought by people, let's say in their 40s, that are purely investment vehicles because of the tax advantages. So why did you buy this life insurance that maybe now you don't think you need anymore? Was it term insurance? Was it whole life insurance? So it had protection and the savings element to it. You know, really go back and analyze why did you buy it? And even though those reasons might not be there anymore, it doesn't make sense you should just drop it. You should at least investigate. Some people should drop it, but some people should investigate the other alternatives. Okay, and your next question that a lot of people have, why do wealthy people own so much life insurance? Some people might think, well, they already have all this money, what do you need? Yeah, this is, this is an interesting misconception about the wealthy. People think, well, anybody that's wealthy doesn't need life insurance. Well, life insurance is many times used as an estate planning tool because a wealthy person might not want their family to have to liquidate investments at the wrong time. Also to pay taxes because it provides liquid cash. Also to provide a tax shelter for certain types of investments. Now, this is different life insurance than many of us are familiar with, but the wealthy do own a lot of life insurance. Is there a rule of, I've heard 10 times your income, which sounds big for a lot of people. Yeah, it should be about 10 times your income, because if you think about it, if somebody's earning $60,000 a year and they have $600,000 of insurance, they can replace that income for quite a bit of time. And uh, so you'll help people determine, should I cash it or should I sell it? And one way you can do that is you have the People's Retirement Handbook. Right, the People's Retirement Handbook. We actually talk about Wendy and I's experience with life insurance, the different types, and then what people are doing today instead of just cashing in their insurance. Many times they can sell it to a third party and get more money for it. All right, and that is a, a free offer for folks. I just want you to go to the website. It's BetterMoneyTV.com, BetterMoneyTV.com, and you'll send this book to people for free. We'll send the book out. We'll answer any questions people have about life insurance or any other subject. All righty. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.